Okay, here's a CNC update. I finally got uh, the X and the Y hooked up and I figured out how to make my first first line of code cut in a slot for a guard. Seems pretty simple but it's taken me a few hours to figure it out. So, um, show you some of the mill and show you this first cut. This is how I just kind of temporarily got them set up. I got the some flexible couplings coming. So they, I had to loosen them up because I didn't drill this straight enough so it makes the motor move about a degree. So the flexible drive shaft coupling should take care of that. But uh, So I'm at my first part of the code right now. So I gotta drop this cutter in and start making some cuts. RPM 316th tool bit um, running at 2.171 service feet per minute at a 63,000 cut. Because I don't have the Z hooked up yet, I got a pause written into the code so I can manually put put the cutter down each step. Okay, so I finally got the uh, Z-axis hooked up and all my new drive couplings on. I was going to do some air, air cutting uh, for you, testing out some new code, uh, the roughing and finishing passes for the Loveless Survivor, one of my new knives. Um, the first batch of prototypes I got water cut and they're at the powder coat right now, I'm getting gun coated. Um, but now that the mill CNC, I can save uh, quite a bit of money with water cut costs and all that. And kind of make it more my own because then it's all my own code, all my own machine time and all that, as opposed to farming it out. But, uh, so this is the first time I've run the Z-axis. I, I got it set up and uh, you know, motor tuned in and all that. So this will be the first trial test run of the, with the Z, uh, the X and the Y. Are, are doing pretty darn good so we'll add one more to it and and then all I'll have is tool changes so that'll save save quite a bit of one-on-one -on -one hands on time okay so I got the machine at zero zero uh, I put the Z in the middle so hopefully it doesn't uh, get too crazy on me um, about the middle of its travel and let's test uh, some some air cuts here Plunge cut right there. It went 93 thou down. Now we're at the first rough, rough pass right now. Uh, Dash Cam said this machining cycle was going to be about an hour long with the uh, finish pass. set for a quarter inch high speed steel end mill, um, 1200 RPM and feed rate at 3.3 feet per minute. It's uh, about in the middle of the road as far as speeds and feeds according to Jeep. It went 93 thou down. Now we're at the first rough rough pass right now. Uh, mesh camp said this machining cycle was going to be about an hour long with the uh, finish pass. So, lots of air cutting, but it looks like, looks like it's all working. Uh, 
Uh, I got it set for a quarter inch high speed steel end mill, um, 1200 RPM at feed rate at a 3.3 feet per minute. It's uh, about in the middle of the road as far as speeds and feeds according to G-Wizard. doing my X and Y and this is uh, the Z um, I added two more screw holes the uh, top right one and the bottom left one were the stock holes and so the top left and the top bottom right are the ones I added and threaded they are they were all 1024 um, this is three inches and uh, I got this set a little, a little deep on the, the Z-axis, but uh, I should move it over a little bit to grab more of the motor. Um, but I just kind of got them welded, but not all the way. That way, if, if I do need to take it off, I, it's not too hard to cut these welds off. But it's definitely more than solid for turning, turning a screw. And I think... I should be able to at least get a screwdriver in those to loosen up to remove it. So in the future if I do need to change this up or whatever, it's there. But this was pretty simple. Rather than do a belt drive and a whole bunch of extra stuff hanging off the mill, I just the uh, only thing I really had to modify was the plastic to get the front back on. I took the little cheesy drill press scale marker off and the collet. Um, maybe in the future I'll use that same one and do a ball screw adaption off the front or the side or whatever. Or I've seen them through the body in the back. Uh, do the ball screw through the body and it mount the, the uh, servo up, up in here. but. I plan on adding a, a power draw bar to the top uh, just to make tool changes easier. Everything working. Um, I just I didn't have any zip ties on hand um, big enough so I just kind of got all my conduits hanging for now but goes into the main one down into the into the old box uh, mash cam on um, my old Dell seems to be working pretty good well that's the uh, CNC update finally got the mail CNC'd and uh, hopefully next month because um, I, I leave, go back to work tomorrow for another two weeks. So hopefully next time back I'll have have the mill doing some 3D milling and all sorts of fun stuff. Hopefully I can get some get some code and everything knocked out while I'm at work. Get paid to do it. Um, thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my website and Facebook for all my updates. Um, also check out markdown.com. Or not Markdown, sorry, Marketplace, they changed the name. Marketplace, uh, theblaze.com, Marketplace. Uh, you'll find me on there. All my production knives are on there. Um, check us out, leave any feedback if you want, um, especially those that are machinists. I'm, I'm always, I'm new to this, so any, any input or suggestions are definitely welcome. Thanks for watching.